Hi hello people welcome back to smart learning youtube channel today in this video i am going to share you one update from kpit technologies the first thing is the results are declared for the first round and also most of the people have got the invites for the second round in this video we'll discuss all the details related to the second round and also the questions you might have so do watch this video till the end and one more thing is accenture and revature is also hiring watch the previous video for the eligibility and apply link or else i am providing that video link in this video description so apply as soon as possible according to your eligibility and if you are very new to our channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will get all the notifications okay then let's get started guys finally kpit declared the results for the first round i think most of the people have been eagerly waiting for the results right and also some of the people haven't received any mail related to the first round i would suggest that the people who haven't received any mail those people wait until tomorrow evening because there is a possibility for getting the mails until tomorrow evening so don't worry guys just wait for your turn and also congratulations to the people who have received the mails for the second round now let me share you some details related to the second round second round is a coding assessment until now they have given two slots for this coding assessment first slot is on 4th may 2022 today itself the link will be open from 6:30 pm to 7:15 pm and the second slot is 5th may which is tomorrow and the link will be open from 6:30 pm to 7:15 pm some of the people have got the coding assessment link in the afternoon and some of the people have received the coding assessment link in the evening so the people who have received in the afternoon those people have the coding assessment today itself and the people who have received the mail in the evening those people have the coding assessment tomorrow and the total time duration of the coding assessment will be 3 hours this coding assessment have three separate tracks first track is c and embedded c second track is cpp and third track is matlab simming and c programming based on your interest or skills you can choose any one of the track from the three and also they have given three separate links you can directly open the link of that particular track which you have chosen these are the details related to the coding assessment and the people who have shortlisted in this coding assessment they'll receive the mails on 6th may for the third round which is professional skills and one more thing guys all of you might think like only coding questions will be there in the coding round if you think like this you are wrong both mcqs and coding questions will be there in the second round and the multiple choice questions will come based on the track which you have selected for so suppose if you selected c and embedded c the mcqs will come from that topic only if you selected cpp then the mcqs will come from only cpp like this the process will be total time duration for both mcqs and coding part will be 3 hours this is all about coding assessment guys That's all from this video guys stay tuned in our channel for more latest updates if you like this video please like the video and do share the video don't forget to subscribe my channel till if you have any type of questions feel free to reach us in our instagram page or telegram account links provided in the video description thank you all thank you for watching